Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on Thinkorswim's arrange orders, uh, not by instrument, but by orders. And I'll explain to you in a moment uh, what I'm talking about. But you'll see in Thinkorswim's platform, it can kind of be very cumbersome and it takes a little bit of uh, digging at times to find what you're looking for. Uh, so you'll see right now I'm in a uh, vertical spread right now on Home Depot, right? So you're gonna see right now, it doesn't show the price of the spread that I paid for it. Now you could do the math right here on your own by subtracting, you know, 61 cents from 193, but I wanna see it kind of clear so it's easier so I don't have to do the math on the fly. So the way that you do this is you go over here to this drop down right over here, you'll see, click these arrows and you'll see arrange positions. And you'll see right now it says by instrument, but if you do it by order right here, now you're gonna see the vertical spread, the price that I paid for it. So this is the trade price, the price that I got in at. And now here's the mark at right now. So this is where the midpoint is on the options trade. So it's a little bit easier to see rather than having to do the math myself. Uh, that's what I wanted to, you know, again, show you because it, I think depending on how your, your position set up, you're going to have to do the math yourself. And that could be a little bit uh, annoying to try to do on the fly. Another thing to be aware of is these, these arrow drop downs right here. So you'll see how nothing's kind of showing up over here for trade price and mark and mark percentage. Another thing is it's kind of hidden under these two little arrows here. So if you click on these this arrows here and click on it, now it shows the information. So if you're not aware of that, you'll see when you're in positions kind of over here, you're not getting a lot of the information that you may want to look at. So this is where you go over to these down arrows, open them up, and then you can collapse. So here's some just some closed positions right here. And as I close them out, now you'll see right over here, the vertical spread that I'm in on Home Depot. And uh, that's a way to show all this information. So again, if I kind of just go over here and I collapse that down, right? And I open it back up. Well, actually you can see it when it does open up. That's because I have the, uh, I believe the orders tab kind of added onto it. So that's, um, or the orders button. So this is where just kind of bringing your attention to these these drop down arrows that if something's kind of collapsed and you're not seeing it right, you might just have to expand them a little bit right here. So again, you could also go right in over here and just kind of click on the arrow now. So if the information's kind of not showing, depending on how your platform is set up, kind of go over to just arrow right here, these double click arrows and open them up and expand them. So again, kind of just showing here, going back over here, if I go by positions right here, I can go to instrument, kind of removed it. So again, you can open the arrows and then look at these collapsible arrows. So it's just kind of something I wanted to show you depending, because again, everybody has their platform set up differently. So I wanted to show you a couple areas to look at these drop down areas and then that grouping uh, arranging positions by order down over here. So hopefully this video helped you and we'll see you in our community. Enjoy.